Hey guys, and CSFan001 here for part 8 of Let's Play Minecraft PS4. Last time, we basically did a lot of exploration and fixing up the house and all that good stuff. Well, actually, the exploration was a couple videos ago. So, first things first, let's take a look around the new house. Pretty simple so far. A couple chests. This one's for food. This one's for all the blocks and stuff. We have our cauldron that I got from the witch's hut. Uh, a couple furnaces, a crafting table, a bed. Then, of course, down here we have the basically the bunker with a second crafting table, bed, and the more valuable materials, mostly iron. Let's see, how many pickaxes do I have? I got a couple. All right. And do I have a crafting table with me? Yep. All right, so we head outside, and we also... That beacon's been built, which is a good thing. What is that? Where, where did you come from, Mr. Zombie? Why are you here? You do not have a right to be here right now, Mr. Zombie. Okay, so I think our priority today is going to be a bit of exploration. We also found that uh, sea temple a while back, which I'm very excited to explore in the future, but we're going to need more materials. So today the main goal again is pretty much to find a cave and really get in... Actually, you know what, if we're going to go to a cave, I probably need to pick up some body armor. I still have not found a village, which is unfortunate because I'd like the ability to trade and have like a decent pre-built infrastructure. Guess the game doesn't want to be kind to me with that. So we're going to head down into the bunker. To grab a little bit of body armor materials. Geez, I really don't have a lot of materials though. It's kind of unfortunate. Okay, so we're gonna build a full suit of body armor. That was exactly perfect, 24 pieces. Now let's just make sure we got some food. I got melons, I got some steaks. Uh, we'll check the food growth first and then, then I'll head out because I just wanna make sure I'm very well stocked for this trip because cave exploration can take quite a long time if you're not careful. I'm gonna eat that mud in, which you're not ever gonna use anyway. Let's get some melons. That actually ought to be enough because this is gonna be a lot of food out of these melons, so I think we'll be okay with these. At least I hope we will be. Uh, we got 48 slices of melon. These things heal maybe half or three quarters of one thing, I believe. We'll just stick with what I got. I think it'll be enough. We probably won't be going that far away in this uh, this cave exploration. Let's see, we've already been down there. Let's go this way. Oh, wait a minute, that's the way I came in. Okay, never mind. Let's go this way. Because we haven't been this way yet. That's the way we came a couple videos ago. Alright, so like I said, we're gonna go look for some caves or anything really of interest. Hopefully a village along the way or a temple. A temple would be kind of cool because we haven't seen one yet. Except for that ocean temple, which again, there's pretty much no way I can explore anytime soon. We're going to need more supplies to explore it. Uh, no need for that extra cocoa. Uh, these are vines. You can actually climb them if they're up against something solid. So I guess that's kind of useful to have as like an extra ladder. All right. Let's get uh, some lunch or a snack or whatever this would be. And yep, we are headed off into the middle of nowhere, and I see an ocean that is not really what I was looking for, but what's this? It's cave entrance. Nope, that's just a depressed piece of grass. Or whatever that is. Anyway, what do we have here? A beach? And really nothing else, it looks like. At least in this specific area. Hmm, anything. Anything at all for me to use. Just another giant jungle that I really don't need for anything. Kind of a weirdly shaping uh, thing on the map area, though. Look at that, actually. That's a Mushroom Island. We haven't seen that yet. Uh, Mushroom Islands are actually a pretty good place to settle at if you can get, like, if you can spawn near one and build your base on one. Mushroom Islands are actually pretty solid for that. And the reason I say that is because, unlike a lot of areas, their terrain rarely spawns mobs on it. So a few torches and even a weak building, and you're probably going to be just fine out here. They can also spawn mushrooms, which, can, which are basically cows with mushrooms on their heads. And they can be harvested for food. 
All right. Okay, this is great and all, but there's no caves out here that we're looking for. Come on, game. We need some caves here. We got to go get some more iron. I do not have a lot of iron. And then what else do I need? I mean, I, I definitely need some gold. So we're going to need that later. Diamonds are going to be a necessity eventually because we're going to need them for quite a few materials, including a diamond pickaxe. And I mean, we won't be able to even go to the nether yet without a diamond pickaxe, which also means that we can't do like anything in the advanced crafting and everything because we need materials from the nether to craft a lot of items. At least the more advanced things related to uh, like brewing and all that good stuff. Oh, and the day this is being recorded, it's only a few hours until The Division releases, as well as the Just Cause 3's first DLC, so quite excited for both of those. I will be hopefully playing both on release day, and here is a cave. I'm more excited probably just for Just Cause, because I can get through it in, like, probably two days, so I can just get through it and get the challenge guides up, because there are supposedly not going to be that many challenges. But then, the rest of it... Is there anything... Wow, this is a really sad cave. But I'll take what little iron it has. But yeah, that, and then once I get through that, I can then focus mostly on the division, which will be very fun. Very excited for it, even though I didn't actually get a chance to play the closed beta, or open beta, or whatever the hell it was. I don't really remember. It's so weird, though. They've been, like, it seems like nowadays, it's very random as to when betas release. Like, they can literally release, like, six months before the game is supposed to come out, or they release, like, two weeks before it's supposed to come out. Because I know that Homefront, the Revolution, got a closed beta for Xbox only, like, a month ago. And that game doesn't come out until May. And Uncharted 4, I think, just got its beta out, even though I'm not entirely sure about that. I think I saw, like, Next Gen Tactics and a few others playing it. Wait, is that... what's down here? Oh, wow, now that's sneaky. Can I see that iron there? Wow, big cave. All right, let's get all this good old iron. We're gonna need all of this. We need more, we're gonna need more suits of body armor because I will inevitably die at really bad times in this game and probably lose a lot of materials. Unfortunately, since I'm not running the auto save, I'll at least have a chance to recover if something really, really devastating happens. Like I'm not, oh, skeleton. Skeleton, die, die. Mm. No, no, that's on me. That's on me. No, go away. Go away. <laughs> Alright, and I just realized I probably need to eat very soon. God, I feel like I'm losing food a lot faster than normal, even if I have this many extra pieces of melon. Uh, I see some iron up here. Let's get this. And let's get that piece. There's a lot of good old iron here. Uh, we're going to go check out what's down here. Keep flipping the wrong way on that. Uh, let's see. How much coal do I have? 39 pieces. Let's get a little more coal. Coal can never hurt. We're always going to need it for smelting in the future. And look at that. It reveals some iron. That's always a positive. It can always happen when you're mining some coal. Of course, we won't probably mine $250 million of coal. So that means that we'll be sold off to Paris Hilton by our own parents while wearing a... What was it? Like a bear costume? I, I know I'm referencing South Park. I'm trying to remember. I think it, yeah, I think it was uh, Paris Hilton in a bear costume and that weird stuff. And that's the one where Mr. Slade shoves Paris Hilton up his butt. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. In fact, all that old South Park is great. Nothing there. I don't know how many of you guys are South Park fans. I'm a pretty big fan of it. I'm very excited for the next South Park game to come out. The name of it's hilarious, though. The Fractured Butthole. <laughs> uh, they went there. Why should I not be surprised? It's probably the most inappropriate show on all of TV. And hello, Mr. Creeper. Fortunately, you're in the water, so I'm not particularly worried about you. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Aw, oh, you exploded. I wanted your gunpowder. It's a bad creeper. I wanted the gunpowder you were going to provide to me. This gunpowder is a rare commodity, and it's used for... It's not really used for that much, actually, so it's not that big a deal. It's used for some crafting. It's used for... Well, it's used for TNT, obviously, and then I think it's just used for some brewing, and that might be it. 
And I know that's going to push me down, but we're going to just pull that out just so that maybe I can block off the water supply. Or reroute the water. That'll work, too. Let's do that. All right. Let's get this iron. And I think, is that gold that I just saw up there? Because if so, that is a very good thing. We need some gold. Come on, give me that iron and... Drat. I thought I saw some gold. It had like a weird texture to it. Well, that's very unfortunate. I was hoping for gold, but we got stone. Uh, not the best trade-off. Alright, so we're going to mine this out. And I see the iron right there, but first... We're gonna stop the water. That'll make coming back up and down here much easier. And look at that, we got more iron up here. We'll get all this iron, and then we'll get the iron down below. And it'll be iron all around, so that'll be very, very good for our supplies. We'll at least have a steady amount of iron coming in on our explorations. So really a big part of the game for the next probably 20 or so episodes is probably going to be just me trying to explore caves, you know, mine some more rare resources and be able to start establishing everything from supply lines, a second colony somewhere, pretty much all that stuff that we're eventually going to need to really branch out into this world. Eventually going to need diamonds so I can build a nether portal, but that's probably going to be a ways away because this game hasn't been too kind to me with diamonds yet or gold. Okay, so what's we got up here? anything and eh, not much but hopefully something right up here and I am gonna leave that water there because that functions as a decent like elevator almost water elevator whoa bad skeleton because remember like a weird thing for me though is that oh it's a spawner oh nice nice okay we're gonna block that off for a second so I can heal but what I was saying was it's annoying because, like, the audio from the game comes through my headphones a few seconds after the audio comes through my, uh... Or a few seconds after the stuff happens on screen, and god, that... Holy cow, that's a lot of skeletons. Well, this is literally, like, I wish that I could have the materials for, like, an automatic farm for mobs right now because this would be a fantastic place for it because skeletons actually drop some decent stuff the bones are good for the bone meal that they drop because you can use that to grow crops otherwise the uh the bows and the arrows are very helpful because you need you definitely need them for later on and look at that i've got so many arrows digging out of me out of the face and the shoulders and holy crap look at all those like jeez. And it really didn't even do much damage to me, thanks to this iron. And what do we have in here? We have more iron, wheat. Oh, an enchantment book. Very nice. We can use that once we build an anvil. Uh, nothing else there. And I saw, where is it? Right here. So yeah, we, we'll have to build an anvil eventually if we want. And that can allow us to use both crafting books and uh, repair items, which is, which is fairly helpful. It's not entirely useful compared to some other methods, but it's never a bad thing to have. The repairing feature, I mean. The, uh, the repairing feature is kind of pointless, but the rest of it is actually pretty helpful. I guess the repairing feature can be good if you've got, like, a real rare piece of gear that you built that you really just want to keep and just keep repaired and everything. I guess that would be the main reason for it. All right, I see another dark area right up here, so let's head to it. How am I going to cross this? Just... All right, is that iron? Yep. And... Okay, no enemies. Just always got to put those torches up a little early just to make sure nothing comes out at me. Because that's never a positive thing. Even though the skeletons, like I said, will net us quite a bit of uh, decent low-level like loot, like the bones and stuff that we can use. That's always good in a pinch in case you need food really quickly. And it looks like there's nothing else up here. So, let's head back down. Uh, we haven't actually been through here yet. Let's see what's through here. Oh, this is a whole nother uh, big cave area. Well, all right. Bat. I will freaking kill you right now. Because suppose... Don't you, like, turn into a witch or something? Or I could be wrong on that. Oh, it makes such a sad sound when it dies. 
But yeah, witches are among the worst enemies in the game to deal with because they throw potions at you and they can throw from pretty far away. And their potions can do all sorts of crazy things to you, usually like drain your health really, really badly. Not a good time. Not a good time at all. Let's get all this iron. God, we're going to have probably over 100 pieces of iron at this rate, which is definitely a good thing because we're going to need every piece of it. We have a lot of development in the future. Uh, torch up, yep. What's that? Okay, and a cider, or whatever that's called, and I see more iron right there. Got some coal. And it looks like that's pretty much it. So let's get this piece of iron right here, this one straggler. Okay, two stragglers. Hey, the more iron, the better. I will not complain. Uh, let's grab this little uh, pocket of coal right here, at least a few pieces of it, to make up for the last round of torches. You know what, I'll get a little bit more, because coal is very useful for smelting and everything. Until Unless I can get like a very effective uh, lava pool somewhere and get a lot of lava, then coal is going to be the go-to fuel for the most part. Let's mine out every last piece of coal for later. Well, maybe not every last piece. I don't think we need all that, but it's definitely good to have. Coal is pretty common, so it's not really that big a deal. And I think I just saw a piece of iron back there, but check ahead. Everything's good. All right. Let's mine out this piece of iron, and it looks like a couple other pieces below it. Always a good thing. Get that. Let's get this. Let's get this. And a couple more pieces of iron. Alright, so now that that's cleared, we're going to head down here, and this is probably a dead end, the way it looks. Yep, I called it. Alright, so nothing else down there. Alright, we're running on like 17 minutes here, so I think I just want to get us set up to go back through this area right over here that I saw. And after this, I'm not sure if there's going to be that many more places to explore in this cave, unless it keeps going pretty far down, which it might, but isn't necessarily likely go forever so I think that's gonna be a pretty good stopping point for this video guys so just gonna cut through this right here and yep that's it so that's the end of this cave so guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and next time we will exit this cave head back to the house and prepare for another expedition see you guys then